Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, CCX here. Welcome back to the Legends of the Majora's Mask. Why is my commentary so exciting after all that very, very annoying thing that I have to deal with? I have no idea. I'm actually trying to have a little bit more enthusiasm because I am a very enthusiastic person. Oh yeah, even though the mini games in the last episode gave me so much crap. But that's neither here or there. In this episode, we're actually going to get a few more heart pieces and also a new mask if I'm, you know, fast enough and, you know, trying to... I don't know why I'm saying that we're going to do this and this in an episode considering the fact that I'm not doing this post, so I don't know what I'm... I don't know what's going to happen, to be honest, so it's as whatever. Also, and you guys are probably wondering what the mask ascent does. Remember that optional side quest I was talking about? If you wear the Mass Ascent, this little puff of smoke will show up, which does not show up in the Japanese version for some reason. The power of this mask allows you to see what you can smell. If it's possible, put the scent in something and take it to the Magic Hags Potion Shop. This will allow you to get a blue potion for free. At least I think, I don't really know. All I know is that it does something and it ends up giving you a blue potion. That's all it really does, it does nothing else. You don't have to get it if you don't want to. That's why I said it's an optional side quest. There is no heart piece for it, so you don't have to worry. There are a lot of um, side quests that are like that where they give you, they kind of just give you a consumable item and nothing more. But there is one in the coast over to our left but we'll be going there a bit later. Just not now, though. Also, we will be getting the ability to um, run a little bit faster, just not yet. Even though I should have asked myself, why did I reset time instead of trying to go after that? But, eh, whatever. I kind of want to go in that area when it's appropriate and not when it's inappropriate because, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to go there now. Actually, hmm. Now that I think about it, there is something I should... Ugh, man, this running speed sucks. You know what? I'll do it when I get the um, the thing that actually makes me run a little bit faster. So that side quest is going to be on hold for a bit. But there was a heart piece that I could have gotten a bit early. Also, there are levers here because why not? I mean, levers are cool. <sighs> levers are cool, bruh. I mean, seriously, they're like totally cool. Totally radical. Totally, I'm gonna stop now. Anyways, we have Dodongos in this area, and these Dodongos end up getting replaced at night by some very weird, gone-looking snowman mother, mother Furas. Yes, PG guys, mother Furas. That's actually what I used to say when I was young, <laughs> when I didn't really realize what cursing was. Okay, if you guys want to fight these guys with Deku's, go right ahead. But I'm not feeling suicidal, so no. Just go ahead and wax them in the tail and as follows. Be careful though. Wow, that, that, um. And die, 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 die. Okay, this is bad. Okay, I'm gonna die. Uh, let me get out of here. <laughs> uh, that's not what you're supposed to do. <laughs> uh, that was a very bad mistake. <laughs> Link, you're bleeding to death. You don't think I know that? I know I'm bleeding. I can tell. <laughs> I thought that was such a good idea. You know what? We'll actually take care of those guys a bit later. Because I don't know what I was thinking trying to fight those guys <laughs> like that. That was really, really dumb of me. Alright, anyways. When you kill those two Dodongos, you end up getting yourself some wonderful heart piece. Yeah, that's all you're going to really get. You're just going to get yourself a heart piece. The faster way to kill them, though, is by using a bomb. Well, using bombs. And I don't think that you can feed them the bomb. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, yeah, this is the area that I was thinking of. You have to come in this area and play um, any of the level opening dungeons. It um, Oath to Order does not work. I don't know why, even though that is... Well, that, well, technically, that's not a song that actually unlocks a level. It unlocks the final level, but not, an, not a song that unlocks a specific level. Also... These grass that keeps moving at random, we will be getting well, we, we, blah, 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 blah. we will be getting a mask that allows us to see who is actually causing that to happen. You can actually find that beast in three different locations. Wherever those flop, wherever those grass ends up moving sporadically is where you'll find them. Also, the Scarecrow song is also in this game as well, so don't go ahead and fret. You can also get that. But the thing is, though, 
is that I'm going to play the song of Double because we need to go ahead and meet a specific person. I might as well show you what the song of Double does and what it could, and what its powers has. What its powers what its powers has. Wow, you know what? Never mind. Let's just play the song of Double. Using the song of double causes the entire day to be skipped. This is changed in the 3DS version, obviously, because you can skip in two hours. Well, one hour each. But the main attraction is not because we want it to be in nighttime. There is a random man who ends up dancing the dance that he loves and loathes for all eternity. And he cannot stop dancing. And yeah, those are the Goron looking snowmen things that um, throw snowmen at you. I mean... They throw snowballs at you. There are two variants. There's the small ones that just throws regular snowballs, and then there's the giant ones that throw gigantic snowballs. Huh, he's not here. That is weird. Maybe he shows up at a specific time, but he does show up around there with those um, very obvious circle of rocks. I mean, seriously, the game clearly ends up saying, Duh, he's right there. I mean, come on, man. Man, I really wish that the Song of Double did have the ability to skip one hour, because this is actually ridiculous. I mean, I don't, I really don't like how the song of double acts in this game, to be honest. And I'm glad that they changed it in um, 3D, because in 3D, it's a lot better in 3D. Uh, if he's not here, then I'm going to wait for a bit. Okay, he is still not there. All right, so I'm going to, is there anything for us to do as we're waiting? Hmm. I'm actually trying to think if there is. Let me see, let me see. I'll just run around for a bit and uh, run about for a bit. So, I decided to go ahead and not wait for that guy and decided to go ahead and talk to this guy right here. La 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 la, they said it was much too loud when I practice in my room. They get mad and sigh, now I'm sad. I'll just think about the past to keep my mind off the bad. I guess I'll do that. Dear guests, long ago I was in an animal troop with dogs and donkeys and such. Donkeys. Why could I? Why could I? Why could a man join? That's cause a man is an animal to my boy. They were all great, but there was one thing I didn't like about it. Why was the, why was the, why was the dog the leader? Was it cause something was wrong with me, sir? Oh, that dog was amazing, leader. He always had a stellar troop, no matter what animals he had to work with. That didn't rhyme. Um, that is why I, that is why I, that's why I stole it. The dog's mask, I stole it. I wanted it because it was the leader's mask, but I no longer need it. I give it to my guest. And we've got ourselves the Berman mask by listening to this guy complain about nonsense, even though I know that the lyrics kind of went kind of haywire there, but who cares? <laughs> Ah, uh, man, I'm stupid. Uh, listen, I have to do something, all right? If I don't, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna lose insanity here. And we can't have that, all right? We can't, we just can't have that. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and check back and see if this guy's here. There is another way for you to actually skip the two hours without having to play the 3DS version. That's to talking to some random person named Grandma. She has an actual name, but I call her Grandma. Because, you know, she's Grandma. That's it. Okay, you guys are probably wondering, why are we waiting for a Pacific guy? Well, this Pacific man will give us a Pacific mask. At least I like to think it's a mask, because it's kind of his entire face. Ah, and he's still not here. I'm convinced this man shows up at 10. I don't really remember what, what time he actually really shows up, to be honest. You want to know why? Because I don't keep that man's schedule. Yes, yes, I know you guys are probably saying, Oh, you should have gone ahead and actually check on the website or something. Yeah, you're supposed to be good at this game. Like, oh my gosh, why are you not good at this game? Like, my goodness. Also, yes, true jellies are indestructible and they cannot be defeated. True jellies, yes, this is the first in rendition of the true jellies before they become annoying in Wind Waker. Like, seriously, in Wind Waker, okay, here's the thing. They end up getting such a very huge dramatic shift in um, Twilight Princess because of the fact that they look like actual jellies. So, 
I mean, two jellies are supposed to be. Okay, where are you, you stupid dumb man? Okay, you know what? I'm convinced that this man shows up at 11. I'm convinced he shows up at 11. So you know what? I'm going to be back at 11. BRB. Oh, thank goodness. I found him. I just had to let the old lady get robbed just to meet this stupid idiot. He actually comes at 12. Hello, random naked, um, naked, um, naked man. How's, uh, how's it be going? I am no longer part of the living. My sadness to the moon. I haven't left my dance to the world. I'm filled with regret. Translation, I'm disappointed. Oh, moon, I have died. Oh, I plan to bring the world together and stir it into a giant melting pot with my dance. If only I had to taught my new dance to someone. The spirit dancer, Kimaro, was added to your notebook. Alright, so as per usual, it's time to play the wonderful song that we mastered. Remember, folks, if you're cursed and if, if you're cursed and of the living and you're supposed to be dead, just use the song of healing and it shall put you to rest. That almost rhymed. I'm freaked out. Spread my dance across the world. Train its followers. Translation, I have taught it to you. Now make it a good and popular dance craze. I shall, Mr. Kimaro Man. Use it to teach the dance of my people. <laughs> I am counting on you. Translation, I am counting on you. And now he can bust into flames. Damn. Now we too can be the dance of the Kimaro. Watch me as I dance the human dance. I look like a fool. I shall dance for you for all eternity. Now we're going to teach those two females who cannot dance. No, seriously, that's actually what we have to do with this mask. We have to literally go to those two dancing ladies so we can actually teach them to dance because they really suck. <laughs> In fact, you actually see those two in Majora's Mask. Um, we actually see those two in, in, um, in Ocarina of Time. And I think they're doing the dance in that. I don't really remember, but don't quote me on that. Anyways, let's go ahead and just teach those ladies the dance so they can go ahead and give me the heart piece so I can quote unquote end. I don't know. I might not end the part because if my guess is right with me doing all this bunch of cutting, it's probably not going to even be long. Anyways, here they are. Check out their dance moves, yo. This is exactly how people are dancing today. My goodness. That's so terrible. Let's talk to him. What's up? Don't bother us. Well, then. You say the same thing. You know what? You guys suck at dancing. Let me allow you to teach. Let me allow you to teach you. Let me teach you the dance of my people. Thank you for teaching us those steps. You are a ma- Whoa, calm it down, lads. I'm just here to teach you guys some dance moves. I do not want to be your masters. <laughs> Step down, ladies. <laughs> yeah, I'm so great. Yeah, I'm so, I'm so awesome. I'm like, yes, follow my steps. Follow it. Yes, be the art of my master. Yes. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I love this mask because of what you can do with it. It's so awesome. Now, um, I actually have nothing else to do until the next day. So I guess what I could do is I'm going to cut until we do the next game. So, BRB, guys. Ugh, 
That's what I'm calling for a very wonderful time when we end up skipping days. Now we are in the second day, and now we're gonna head back to that wonderful bomb chew mini game. Oh, and trust me, if you guys are probably wondering, is that worse than the bomb chew um mini game that you have to do in Ocarina of Time? Ha! <laughs> no, because you want to know why? At least with the bomb chew mini game, I actually have unlimited. I in this one, I have unlimited bomb chews. This one, I in the Ocarina of Time one, you don't. You have limited amounts of it. <laughs> Look, honey, it's our visitor again. Mm, I wonder if it's a customer, darling. Mm, oh, are you the one who got the perfect score yesterday? Would you like to play again? Today is the basketball day, isn't it, darling? <laughs> one game for ten rubies. Get a bomb inside every basket, and time takes us to dance in the one song. Mm. One song, you guys are... <sighs> you know what? You guys want one song? I'll give you one song! Anyways, for this game, what you have to go ahead and do is just throw them in the basket. Yeah, I kid you not, this one is a lot easier than the friggin' Bomb Chew mini game. Why? Because it's so simple. I know, right? It's so bloody simple. Two point! Wow, I am not Kobe. Uh, who's the famous basketball player who people are talking about now? You know what? I'm Michael Jordan, people. Michael Jordan! Michael mother effin'! What the? Okay, I got it. Um, <laughs> uh, whatever. That was weird. Anyways, if you do fall off or anything, or if the bomb falls in the water, it gives you another chance to throw another one. Did you see that, honey? He got a perfect score. We have to share our happiness with him, honey. Wait. <laughs> I don't know which one is talking. <laughs> That's annoying, so let's show off even more for him. If I can use my friggin' arrows, bombs, or whatever. Do I got bomb shoes now? No, I don't. I still haven't bought any of those, because I never need them. Anyways, we get to play one more minigame with these guys. Until then, though, um, I'm actually not going to go ahead and play it right off the bat, because what I want to do is I want to head to the next area, because right now, there's nothing up for us to do aside for this last minigame. So, in the next episode, we'll be heading to... The mountains. Anyways, <laughs> I forgot. I don't even have the, the map for that area. So I've been CCX, and I'll be catching you guys next time till we when our entire area will be coming a little bit colder. CCX, over and out of here. See yas.